is your love language? This is it right here. Here, I got that for Valentine's Day. It's really sweet. I actually fell in love with Dave many, many, many years ago. We were teenagers in high school. And we parted and went our separate ways and now we're back together. What does romance mean to you? It's just someone showing you that they were thinking of you when you're not around. What is your love language? Words of affirmation, number one, acts of service. Is it romantic to vacuum your car? Yes. People love to order papers, that's their love language. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's a cute little heart-shaped trinket box to hold a special treat for a special someone. We'll use some really fun techniques and some fun products to create this sweet assemblage heart-shaped paper mache box. I'm going to share all of the products that I used in the description box below. You'll be able to find almost everything at lnjgoods.com. For this project, I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz Salvage Dolls, a pair of die-cut embossed wings, a little paper mache box, and some assorted decoupage papers and Tim Holtz document tissue paper. Prep the box by applying decoupage medium and then cutting your pieces to fit the top and the sides. Then set it aside to dry. Once that decoupage layer is completely dry, I use a little sanding pad to sand away the edges. That makes a nice clean finish on each of the edges of the box and the lid. I'm going to go ahead and prep a few other elements too. I'll sand the little salvage doll and I'm going to sand that set of gold paper wings. This is going to give those glossy items a little bit of tooth so that you can apply either a distressed crayon or paint or your favorite antiquing wax or glaze. I use these to get down into the details and then wipe away the excess with a soft cloth. This is the Tim Holtz Bouquet Paper Flower Bundle. I've taken off two little sections and then I'm going to dip one bundle into Debbie's DIY Golden Ticket Liquid Patina and I will paint the other little bundle with red paint. Set them aside to dry. For the edge of the box lid, I'm using the Distress opaque cracking medium. I spread that on with a palette knife. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Um, I like that very random application of the cracking medium. Set it aside to dry on its own or use a heat gun to force the cracking. It creates a really cool micro cracking texture. To create a really nice aged fine crack over the rest of the box, I'm using Pentart's two-part classic crackle system. Apply the first step over the entire box and then let that dry completely. It goes on like a white glue and uh, will dry transparent. Once that is dry, you will apply component two with a dry clean brush. Allow this to dry completely and then apply a heat gun to force those cracks. To reveal the cracks, you can use an antiquing glaze or an antiquing wax. Rub it down into the cracks of both types of cracking medium in order to show all of that beautiful grungy goodness. And then wipe away any excess. If you need to, you can apply a little clear wax to act as an eraser to remove even more of the dark wax. 
Now it's time to assemble our assemblage. I'm using a little rayon ribbon that I dyed with Tim Holtz mica spray. Next, I'm gluing down those little cardstock embossed wings. Then I'm gonna glue down this little metal flower crown, which I flattened out. These are available at LJ Goods. And then I'll put that sweet little salvage doll on top. Cut apart the little flower bundles and then glue those in place around the salvage doll. Let everything dry completely. If you need to, you can also add a weight to the top to make sure that that doll stays in place while it's drying. Once everything's dry, you've got the cutest little heart-shaped trinket box. I love this assemblage piece. For Valentine's Day, I would love it if somebody made this for me and gave it to me. I would love somebody to clean that kitchen behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today on this Valentine's Day. You can find everything that I used in the description box below and at lnjgoods.com. We're a brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. We'd love to have you visit sometime if you're ever in the area. Yes. What okay. I thought was when I went out in the snow okay. and made you a great big heart. Yes. Not there, people, other people. I didn't grow up in a romantic family, so it's very difficult <laughs> We're for justifying me. now. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get what you're saying. <laughs> uh, that was romantic. I think it's very romantic. What would be your favorite Valentine's Day present? All right. Trying to tell okay. you HR is going to have to get in the mix here. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you need to know about romance, you can find in this clip. <laughs> Yes, the best couple ever. <laughs>